Hi, my name is Nora, and today we're gonna do a simple, not so messy experiment with things that you could find in your kitchen. So today's experiment is gonna be about surface tension. What is surface tension? Well, the molecules at the surface of a liquid tend to stick together, like water and milk, so that things can float. For example, when you're in a pool and you do a starfish, you're floating. Or insects that can walk on water, like the water strider. Today, we're gonna play with this surface tension and milk. So we're gonna do what we call tie-dye milk. Do you know what tie-dye is? Take a look at this tablecloth. This is tie-dye. <laughs> and we're gonna try to create a similar effect with milk. So what you're gonna need for this is a transparent plate or bowl or Tupperware, a really thin layer of milk, which we already have, some food coloring, some dishwash soap, and a couple of Q-tips. All right, let's get started. So you're gonna take your food coloring and just place it throughout your milk bowl. Already starting to look pretty cool. You can see that after a while it just starts floating and not moving anywhere. All right, let's put some different color in here. The blue really had a mind of its own. <laughs> let's get some red. Oh, we have any more red? A oh, little droplet. There we go. Looks like we don't got a lot of red going on here. A little bit of a splash. <laughs> Let's see if we get some yellow in here too. We're just gonna put it everywhere. All right. So, already looking good, pretty colorful, and you can get creative and do whatever kind of design you like. Let's see what happens when we add soap. So, let's just remind each other that milk has some pretty high surface tension, and that's why all of the food coloring is floating. Now, when I add the soap with this Q-tip, the soap is gonna break this surface tension. You ready? So let's add the soap right in the middle. Let's see, where do we wanna put it? Let's add it right over here. Ready? Isn't that cool? Let's add it over here too. And you can just keep going and going. So let's see what happens. Now take the other side of the Q-tip and do the same thing. And just have fun with it. And just see how all the colors move around and create this tie-dye effect. That's pretty awesome. And that's it. 